Ken Surfs here, and another Shea video. A little different than the usual one, because this, uh, I think it's going to be the inaugural shave for a West Coast Shavings Shave of the Day video series. So uh, West Coast Shaving is probably the closest brick and mortar store to me, and I've been there a couple of times, and I understand they just moved into a really new facility, or they're about to move, or I've just moved. But anyway, they're putting together a daily video series, a uh, shave of the day. And they're going to be, uh, I think I'm starting the shave program. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be shave videos that are applying to people that have different facial hair, maybe thick beards, coarse beards, uh, all types. And uh, I get to be the first one. So the products that I'm using today are all products from West Coast Shaving. And... Uh, if you're watching, you're going to pick up some tips and tricks from not just from me, but from all the different shavers they're going to have. So uh, welcome, and uh, let's get this shave started, and I'll tell you what I'm going to be using today. Well, obviously, I'm going to be using a nice razor from West Coast Shave Shaving, and this is, I believe, from the Midnight Series, and it is one heavy razor. One of the, This is the heaviest razor that I own, and uh, of course, it's in Midnight Black. And I'm, the head on it is a, a very mild head, and that way I'm not, it's not no R41, it gives a really good shave. So I'm definitely looking forward to using that again, and you've seen me use that in some of the videos. I'm going to be using some Parasso pre-shave. I'm going to be using my uh, Simoog bore brush. And now... I tell you, I got an orange tree in my backyard and it really smells like citrus out there. It smells like summer already. So I'm going to be using from Sterling Soaps, the Orange Chill. And for the aftershave, from Fine Italian Citrus. So welcome and uh, let's get this shave started. Put that brush in there to soak. Wet my face a little bit. I'm shooting this video on a Friday. Whoa, look at that light. Boom. Sorry about that. I'm shooting this video on a Friday, but uh, maybe a Monday when uh, this actually gets shown. So I'm learning a lot of cool tricks about uploading a video to somewhere other than YouTube by using Google Drive and uh, feels like I had to do some homework for this video. But uh, the shave should be nice and good. Oh, great menthol smell. They had an orange Parasso pre-shave. I definitely think I'd be using that too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sterling. So this series, I heard about this. My friend Abraham actually works at uh, West Coast Shaving. And uh, I've been working there a while now. And he told me that they were going to be doing this video series. And uh, at first I was a little nervous. They go, hey man, you want to be uh, the first? And I go, oh. that way people will learn from all my mistakes. Anybody who does a video for the shave of the day after this is going to learn from my mistakes. So hopefully I don't make too many today. I just got to think of it as a great afternoon shave using some great products that I really like and that are available here through mail order from West Coast Shaving, or you can go right into the store. And I got invited to go see the new facility, and I haven't seen it yet. Abraham said I can come on a Sunday and shoot a video there, so. Oh, very good. That really, that really does smell great. Oh, and the blade, I almost forgot. Voshod, a nice blade. One of my, yeah, probably one of the top five that I use. And this thing is very heavy, so you're gonna be uh, real careful with this. If you just let the weight of this rest on your skin, whew, you may get some nicks. So I do advise you to be careful, but with that head on it, going to get a good shave. And 
this sterling soap is so thick. I think the sterling and the tailor of old Bond Street are some of the thickest soaps that I use. So if you're worried about getting a nick or a cut, yeah, try some thick soap. And that pre-shave really helps too. See, it's kind of different doing a shave on a camera because uh, you get to try out different products or you're previewing different products. But for you guys who are just doing a daily shave and maybe you got a variety of different products you want to use, but you're going to use, get to use your favorites a lot more often. And I... I have a uh, facial hair that grows pretty much down on the face and then at about a 45 degree angle on the neck. So uh, if you're doing a three pass shave, some people say, why are you going across the grain second or with the grain first, but everybody's neck and face are unique. So I suggest you map yours, figure out what way your hair is growing so you know go with the grain on the first pass. Oh man. If I had a big old glass of orange juice here right now, it would be complete. I'm gonna get a little more water on there. I like my soap a little more sloppy. And this stuff's pretty thick. Yeah, that handle, it's pretty much universal thread. So uh, I was gonna use it on a, on a Mula R41 today, but I thought, no, not for uh, the first shave on a Wesco shaving video, in case I cut myself up. I'm going to be kind of curious to see the product on or the video on on their site because I'm sending it to them and I'm sure they can edit it then whatever way they want. Super 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 mild razor. Now let's see. Uh, missed a spot right there. No, this doesn't warrant a three pass. So maybe whatever advice I can give you on this first video is uh, you do a three pass, you might get a BBS shave, no problem. But if you can get it like 99.9% .9 there on a two pass, hey, why not? Because there's nothing worse than going on your third pass and then nicking yourself and uh, now you're going to pay for it for uh, uh, quite a few days after. Oh. Well, I'm glad Abraham called me today about this. I was going to do a shave for YouTube for my channel. And he said, hey, that program's about to start. Kickoff is Monday. Uh, are you still willing to do it? And can you get us that uh, video uploaded and everything by the end of today? And uh, I do believe I'm going to be able to do that. So hopefully you're watching it and it's Monday. 
and your weekend went great. Oh, wow. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I love that burn. Oh, and that fine. <sighs> this whole shaved in now. Oh, smells like orange. Whew. Fantastic. Well, thank you for watching West Coast Shavings uh, Shave of the Day. And I'm looking very forward to seeing how this ends up. Hopefully they don't edit it too bad. And uh, I'm looking forward to actually watching the next one. So yeah, you guys are lucky because you probably watch me and see how I goof up. And uh, if I do, if I have, and uh, you won't make the same mistake I did. It's always hard being the first, you know, it's definitely hard. And I told, uh, told Abraham, I said, am I gonna be the first? Yeah, I go, oh boy. But uh, well, welcome to West Coast Shaving.